What is going on, button pushers? Welcome to the channel. My name is David, and today we are going to be talking about this right here. This is the Atlas Mercury Anamorphic Lens. After a year and a half long wait, I finally got my Atlas Mercury set in hands, and I've been so excited to finally get these in. They are so, so beautiful. Let's dive into it. This is actually my first true lens investment. I do have a Canon FD set, but these are my first real cinema glass. Straight out of the box, they look and feel amazing, and they have a really nice housing, and honestly, it feels like brushed aluminum. The smell is honestly like the smell of brand new sneakers. I, I sniffed the box, oddly enough, but it really smelled like fresh sneakers. It was kind of crazy. The focus gear is so smooth, and honestly, I fell in love at first touch. Compared to some other cinema lenses I've used on shoots, these are absolutely tiny. They're so lightweight, it's kind of insane. They weigh as little as 2.3 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. Before we get into the mushy, gushy, lovey-dovey stuff, let's talk about what I think the lenses could work on and the process of purchasing these lenses overall. I'd really love if these lenses came with a provided case without having to pay extra because it feels like if I was to invest in such a big set of lenses, even though it may be cheaper than others in comparison, it's still a big jump at 23,000 US dollars. Thankfully, I did pay the pre-order price, so it was the price of around 15,000, so it was a lot cheaper, but paying an extra 400 for a case is kind of sad to me. I think between the sets, they do need to swap a few lenses around to make it a little bit more versatile and make a little bit more sense because these lenses that we get from this set is a 36, a 42, and a 72. And honestly, I think the 36 and 42 are just way too close together. Personally, I just like to swap out the 42 for either a 45 or a 95 just to add a bit more range between the lenses. Or even if they had something wider like a 21 or a 28, that would be absolutely amazing. They are full frame lenses, meaning there's no crop when it's in the full frame or large format cameras like the R3 or the Alexa Mini LF. The coverage is absolutely amazing. A quick lesson on anamorphics while we're at it, the lens captures wider than usual, like the field of view, but is squeezed. So when it hits the sensor, the mercuries need to be de-squeezed at a 1.5x difference, which actually means it views 1.5x more in width, which is why the footage actually feels longer but we can always scale in if we do not need that extra room. This de-squeezing process also gives the signature anamorphic look to the image of the oval bokeh, the flares, and the wider field of view. Let's go back to the build quality of these lenses real quick. It's really smooth. In a way, it is. Oh my God, is it quick or anything? <sighs> and his heart stops. That's a, it's a real lens. <laughs> We've already talked about the feel and the brushed metal and the, the focus gears and the weight and the size. The throw of the focus gear is just so nice and covers a good range. While it's a bit more twist of a hand, it does make sure that I don't overshoot my focus too quickly like photo lenses. The aperture gear is just as smooth as the focus gear and these lenses range from a f2.2 to f16, which is a really, really nice range. And normally I don't wanna to go too high with the aperture because that kind of defeats the purpose of these lenses and really takes away a lot of that character. So I try to keep it below an f5.6 or so. I usually shoot around two or 2.8, so having the widest option at 2.2 is actually so, so nice. They come in either PL or EF, and depending on what mount you choose, Obviously, I decided to go with PL because it is a little bit more versatile for the higher end productions and it just feels more universal. It's also a lot safer because of the locking mechanisms. While I probably won't ever have to do a drop test, I think these could survive a decent fall and I don't think I ever want to do a drop test, so let's not drop it. Now let's talk about the focus breathing on these lenses. While focus breathing on many lenses can feel really weird and make a scene awkward or less immersive, the anamorphic breathe feels a little bit different. When you shift focus from close to infinity, you may see the frame kind of push and pull in a little bit. And I feel like this look can be good in some instances while it may not feel as great in other situations. However, I do really like the look and it feels good. And I think when used properly, it can do so, so much for your film. The flares. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of anamorphic flares. While they do have a critical part in the anamorphic look, I could do without them. However, we've all seen the look you get from quote unquote anamorphic flare filters. And it, this is not that. 
This is nothing like that. The flares coming out of these lenses is gorgeous and feels so natural. A true anamorphic flare versus a flare filter. The difference is so, so big. Plus, these Mercury's have a nice warm flare, which feels so much better to me than that random bright blue flare that comes out of nowhere in most of the filters. If I could go for that silver flare to make it a little bit more neutral, they do make silver flared lenses. That would be even better, but honestly, the warm flare works awesome. The bokeh and isolation is one of my favorite parts of these lenses and all anamorphic lenses to begin with. Based on the footage I've seen so far, it is awesome. I just love the way the focus falls off and how you get lost in the background. Like the image is sharp, but soft at the same time. And it just feels right. By far one of the prettiest lenses I've used when it comes to isolation. I love how sharp it keeps the subject in focus while being able to blend the background so well in the oval bokeh and just adds so much character to it. And that's all in the anamorphic look with these. The color and the look is super rich and warm. But at the same time, I feel like it really increases some saturation in the greens, which can be a good or bad thing. However, it all comes down to something in color grading. Super simple fix. No real issues there. The skin tones are amazing. The highlight roll off is beautiful. The image that comes out of this lens feels, again, super soft, but at the same time, it has a nice sharpness to it and it makes it feel like I can make anything shot like a movie. Like I literally slapped the lens on my Gemini when I was going to a meeting, shot a few shots here and there, and the footage that came out of it looked absolutely beautiful. It, it looked like it came out of a movie and I didn't set up any lights. All I had was my Gemini with the lens slapped on there. And honestly, it came out so beautiful. Like I feel like it's one of the best shots I've ever taken, but I was literally just holding my camera and shooting random things. Like it was really, really nice. Like I'm geeking out about these lenses right now. Like I, I, I'm so happy with my purchase. Let's move on. These lenses are literally the epitome of lenses are more important than your camera because they're so stunning. Like though it was a huge tax on my bank account, I really think these lenses are worth the money, especially at the pre-order price that I got them. Now, I don't know if I would have bought them because I would have been probably too scared financially, but for the pre-order price, beautiful, amazing. I've only had these lenses for about two weeks now, and honestly, I have loved every second of using them, and I can't wait to use them on more projects because this, because these lenses just feel right. Like, I don't know, I, I can use them on so many different cameras now. I, I they give such a special look and they feel so good and it makes me feel cool. Like using and holding these and just owning these in general just makes me feel cool. And I'm really, really happy that I was able to get the opportunity to purchase this and I'm super grateful too. Like the hard earned money to get these, I feel like was definitely worth it. These lenses are amazing. But now they're kind of close to the price of the Orions and the two X anamorphics do seem to be more liked and i'm pretty sure you can get them around the same price the orion's around like twenty four thousand dollars so if you guys are looking at anamorphics i would definitely recommend atlas atlas has been such an amazing company i honestly feel like if i did not get the pre-order price i would go with the orion's because i have more choices and more versatility when it comes to like the wide array of lenses and i really really like the 21 orion and i would definitely wish they had that for the mercury's but they don't. The Mercury's are amazing for people who are looking for something more lightweight, more small, something that can fit into tighter spaces. Maybe if you guys are flying on a drone or anything like a car rig or something, Mercury's, Mercury's, <laughs> they're gonna get you right. Anyways, guys, from my experiences so far and for whoever I've rented these lenses out to so far, they have absolutely loved the Mercury set and Guys, I, I would definitely recommend these, honestly. And I know it's such a steep price and it's not something that people can just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pull the plug on this. And honestly, it wasn't like that for me either. It was really scary to buy these, especially because they didn't come for like a year and a half later. And I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna have the money for these later. And so for a year and a half, I was literally like, I need to have this much in my bank account. I need to have this much in my bank account. I need to be able to buy these lenses. And I was just waiting for that email to come in and it came and I bought it and that was that and they're so amazing and I don't regret it at all even though it's kind of scary 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below based on the images I've showed you so far. And I know it's not that crazy of like shoots or sets, but I would love to know what you guys think about these lenses in the comments below. Let me know, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Can't wait to make more videos for you guys. I'm just gonna get a little bit more adjusted into making YouTube videos again. I really love making videos for you guys and I will be doing that. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat in the background, but she's crying. So that's my cue to go. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day and I'll see you then. Peace.